this is a perfect Friday night dish. Today we're going to make milho frito, which is a Portuguese fried polenta. And it's delicious. First thing we do is we put in about two tablespoons of olive oil and lots of garlic. This is about six cloves of garlic, a lot. And we add thyme. You don't want to burn the garlic. Then you put in eight cups of water. Salt. You can always add salt. It's hard to take it away. And then very gradually, it's really easy, you add the polenta. And then you add your kale and you constantly mix it. I think we can add a little bit more garlic, a tiny bit more, because it really tastes good in this dish. You want this to thicken, so you keep stirring it, and it cooks the kale, and it thickens. And you know, this would be a great Friday night dish because you're supposed to have garlic on Friday night in Judaism, so that because garlic is something that um, encourages the passions rather than stopping them. See how it's coming together? You want it to be as thick as possible, and it will, it will thicken up again when it's in the refrigerator. So this is what I'll do. I'm going to put it in a, in a Pyrex bowl. Just for a little bit. Just to cool down. See, there are no lumps in it. So you just have to do something, in a way, the way you do a risotto. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grease this casserole, putting olive oil on the bottom. And then I've taken out the polenta from the refrigerator. And I'm going to use my hands to spoon it out. You don't have to use your hands. I love using my hands when I cook. And I put it then in a 350 degree oven for about 10 or 15 minutes, just till it gets hot. And then I raise it to 500, so it browns. So I did about two tablespoons of olive oil on top and it's going to hit the bottom, so there's, and there's some on the bottom as well. Here we go into the oven again. Well, this, I, I would serve this with other things, with meat usually, um, or you could serve it, as I said, with smoked salmon and eggs for breakfast. If you want to do as the Portuguese did, or do, those who still live on the island of Madeira, you would deep fry these squares, and so they really are crispy, crunchy. But I prefer to do it this way, and let's try it. You can't eat just one square, by the way. Mm. 
It's crunchy. It's creamy. It's delicious. Bon appetit.